We're going to run through a couple examples in Excel, MATLAB, Python, and Simulink on how to solve dynamic control and optimization problems. We're just going to do this for a simple cruise control application where we have the gas pedal is going to be our input and the output is going to be the velocity. So we're going to set up a model predictive controller where we look out over a future. We're going to try to match up to this uh, reference trajectory by making our model uh, match the desired output. We're going to do that by manipulating the gas pedal at different time points into the future. So this is our uh, example in Excel. We'll also do this in MATLAB as well. And then, um, and then uh, show some of the MATLAB results, do it in Simulink and Python as well. Okay, so to access the files for this, just go to apmonitor.com slash do for dynamic optimization. And then what I'm gonna do is go down to the control section, go ahead and select introduction. So in the introduction section, as I scroll down, I'll see a model predictive control example. Okay, and then there's going to be some files here, MPC and Excel, MATLAB, Python, and Simulink. And go ahead and save those uh, to your desktop or somewhere else that's convenient. And uh, the next thing you'll need to do is extract those. They're in a zip file format. So extract them. Um, you know, don't work with the zip file. Um, but work with the folder that you've extracted. So first I'm going to open up Excel. And here I have a model predictive control example. So I have a desired target, which is going to be this black line. Okay, so I'm starting at zero meters per second, and I want to get up to 25 meters per second. Normally cruise control, um, you know, you can, you can activate it when you're pretty close to the cruising speed, but this is a model predictive controller that's going to take us from zero meters per second, or rest, all the way up to 25 meters per second, which is about 56 uh, miles per about 56 miles per hour. Okay, so um, the way I'm going to do that is look at each of the points along the way. I'm going to look at the difference between my model and my target value. So I'm going to move this plot out of the way. So those are not aligned. So what I'm going to do is try to adjust um, I'm going to try to adjust each of these uh, delta MV points uh, to try to get them to uh, line up. So I have my absolute error computed and then also my squared error and these are just the summation of those. So I'm going to come over to data. I'm going to use the solver and uh, then I'm going to set my objective. Um, let me set it to the sum of uh, squared errors and then I'm going to be changing uh, certain cells. So I'll be changing um, these M uh, see, So I'm going to change each of these in this list. Okay, so this is going to be the ones that I can change, that's the, the delta of my gas pedal at each time point. And uh, I'm going to also have some constraints. Let me go ahead and delete these and then I'll add them back in. But I know my gas pedal um, has to be less than 100. Okay, so I'm going to put in that my gas pedal, this is going to be column F, is going to be less than or equal to 100. And then I'll add another one which is my gas pedal has to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so I've added um, those in, and let me go ahead and solve it. Um, okay, so there is uh, my, my acceleration profile. You can see that it now matches that reference trajectory. We told it how fast to get up to 25 meters per second, and so it adjusted the gas pedal you can see it adjusted, it went up to 100% uh, and then gradually decreased until it reached about uh, a 30% or 25%. Okay, so there is model predictive control in Excel. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and move over to, um, let's just look at our Python one next. Um, and I'll just walk through this one. First of all, I, I clear the session. I then load the apmonitor.com uh, toolkit. Okay. Um, actually, I don't have this. Uh, this is a MATLAB script. Okay, so let me go ahead and convert it into a, a Python script. I forgot to do that uh, before. So I'll do that uh, from APM import um, everything. So I'm going to import, um, I'm going to import this.py file. Okay, so this is for uh, MATLAB users. If you know how to use MATLAB, I'm going to convert this into a Python script. I'm going to replace all of my uh, semicolons at the end with uh, with nothing. 
Okay, and then I also need to replace um, my percent sign. I'm going to replace that with a pound sign. Okay, and then it converts it into comment characters for Python. Okay, and then everything else should be uh, the same except this uh, display. I'm going to then print the output instead of uh, display the output. Okay, and I'll upload these files to the um, I'll upload these files so you have the latest ones as well for your Python script if you want to use that. Okay, so I think we should have it um, right here and then it'll just open up a web viewer. So let me see if that will run. Okay, great. It looks like it did. Um, so let's look at our velocity then. So here's our velocity. Um, that uh, Here's our actual car uh, velocity. And uh, you can see a dead band here between the two. That's my upper and lower dead band. And uh, I'm, my objective is to have the uh, target or the velocity between those two. So instead of just a reference trajectory, we set up a dead band with a high and low limit. And we said you can accelerate how you'd like as long as you stay within that upper and lower limit. So let's go back and just look at our gas pedal trend. Okay, so there's our, our gas pedal trend. I went up to 100% for just a brief period of time and then went back uh, to 40. Okay, so um, and then leveled off around uh, 33. Okay, so that was our um, acceleration profile in Python. So let's go and solve this as well in, in MATLAB. Um, so I think it's going to be control.m. And, uh, and then we'll move on to Simulink for our final example. So this is going to be that same script uh, that we just ran in Python, but we're going to try to do it in, in MATLAB as well. One thing that's going to be different, and uh, you saw me delete that from converting over from a MATLAB script to a Python script, is that now we're going to bring the results into MATLAB and then plot them within MATLAB. Okay, so we'll solve it, um, and then we'll get the results and then plot them in uh, MATLAB. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run that. I can click F5 or uh, so it brings up the same web viewer, but then it also brings up um, the results within MATLAB. Okay, so you can save this as a MATLAB uh, file, uh, save your results. Okay, so let me show as one final example, I'll show the Simulink. Uh, now this is kind of fun because you can see it as if the car is accelerating in real time. Okay, so we're going to open up uh, the Simulink and uh, let me make this scope just a little bit larger here. Okay, so we're going to see the gas pedal and also the target velocity and um, and also the uh, the actual velocity. This is a uh, Ferrari, okay? So I'll simulate it for 200 seconds. It's going to go a little bit faster, hopefully a little bit faster than real time here. Okay, so let me close this web viewer. Okay, so you can see the actual velocity. I'm trying to get up to 85 meters per second, the Ferrari won't be able to do it. Um, it's going to go up to, I, at least I don't think it will. Okay, so here it's at 100% on the gas pedal position. Let me change to, uh, instead of 85 meters per second, which is uh, really going fast, I'll change it maybe to uh, 30 uh, meters per second. Okay, so I changed my set point down. My gas pedal went almost immediately to zero and then said, well, I'm trying to follow this trajectory. I want to, don't want to decelerate too fast. Um, so let me come back up on, on the gas pedal right here. Okay, so um, now let's go to, let's see. So let's, let's just increase it to maybe 50 meters per second. Um, okay, so there is set point, and you can see it uh, increasing in velocity, the model predictive controller. Each time it's just injecting just the first move of that horizon back into the system. You can see we also have some noise that we've implemented there, so we don't have a perfect uh, speedometer reading, but um, it's able to adjust and, and keep you pretty close uh, to the new set point. Okay, so let me go ahead and just go back down one more time, uh, maybe to 15 meters per second. We got down into maybe a residential area and the controller then knows how to bring us down at a, at a 
acceptable rate, uh, maintaining constraints between 0 and 100% for the pedal. In reality, we would probably want to put other things into that objective function like fuel efficiency or other uh, factors that would be important for um, desirable performance for this cruise control. Okay, but that is, um, so just in summary, this is a demonstration of how to implement model predictive control in, in both Excel uh, and MATLAB, uh, Simulink, and also in Python.